Here we are, the start of the Bloomfield track. What have you found, dear? My creek. <laughs> <laughs> A creek name for me. Probably not, but Melissa well, Creek, how cool is that? It is super peaceful. Super rainforesty. Mel's running the gauntlet yet again and she's not gonna put the fly out. So I'm not running the gauntlet because it would take too long to set this tarp up if it did happen to start running. So I set the tarp up, so if it does rain, I'll be okay. And in here is my little hammock. I've got a fly screen, a little map in there, so yeah, that will be me tonight. So Kaylee, do you want to show us how this one works? Is it comfy? No. <laughs> but am I here now? Yes. Cheers, big ears. Cheers. Bloomfield! Bloomfield track, Cape Tribulation, Daintree Rainforest. <laughs> Do I sound excited? <laughs> Do you sound excited? Three days of exploring. Yay! Yay! We left the van behind. First little stop off on our way out of Cooktown is the Black Mountains. You can see here on the broken rock, these are granite rocks. They're actually white, but they get covered in a moss or an algae and that's why they end up black. And that's why they end up being called the Black Mountains. Oh, are you going to that one that looks a bit like a chair? We're on Black Mountain! So we're making our way out to the Bloomfield track and we're driving through a town called Rossville and it feels like the council has gotten together and said guys just go nuts! Go nuts with your litter boxes please! We've seen microwaves, we've seen uh, lawnmower catch pans, we've seen some creative birds. I think this one takes the cake though. This appears to be a cassowary. It's pretty cool. Here we are, the start of the Bloomfield track. Gravel road for the next 32 kilometres. What have you found, dear? My creek! <laughs> <laughs> a creek name for me. Probably not, but Melissa Creek, how cool is that? So we've just stopped in here at Imogen Creek. and to cook up a little bit of lunch, then probably go in for a bit of a swim. Apparently we can go for a swim up here as long as you go upstream. Downstream might have crocodiles. Now that I'm looking at the sign, I guess it's Emigen Creek, not Imogen Creek. How are you, Owen? Are you enjoying that? Good. What do you think you spot? How about you, Kaylee? Yeah. There's some beautiful butterflies floating. <clears throat> floating? Flapping? Some beautiful butterflies flapping past us. They've got a deep blue coloration. And that's the view. There's one there, but I don't know if the GoPro is going to pick it up. It's kind of flying towards us. He's maybe going to come close enough for the GoPro to see it. I'll see if I can zoom in when I edit that. Let's see. <laughs> that did not take long. 
a little bit of a trek to go for a swim in Imogen Creek. Imogen Creek, how is it there? Lovely. Oh, it is super peaceful, super rainforesty. The uh, Ulysses butterflies fluttering around. We're hoping we'll see a Cairns bird wing as well. The water is full of perch. Oops, I slipped on a rock. Oh, let's see if I can find the fish. Tribulation camping. This is it. Ah, oh, well, this is us here at Cape Tribulation, our little site. We can just go for a walk through there and we're on the beach. But first thing we're going to do is get camp set up. No, no. Are, we, uh, are we not letting the kids set up their own site? We can go down and enjoy ourselves on the beach while the kids are still setting up this way. So we've decided to go flyerless tonight because it's hot, it's very hot and we didn't bring fans or anything and we're pretty much accustomed to the air conditioning in the uh, caravan these days so we might struggle. Plus I think with all the tree coverage above us I don't think condensation is going to be an issue. It's like sleeping under a tarp and that's it. Yippee. We're just lying on top of the sleeping bags. The kids are probably going to get in their sleeping bags. Sounds like it's got coconut milk in it. This one? We can't um, shake that one because it's really heavy. What did you bring, Owen? So there's not many coconuts, hey? You only found three. Yeah, the other ones had nothing in them, but we found a playground. Oh, you found a playground. Yeah. All right, we're off to see what's at the end of the path from our campground. This is the view from the end of our path. Offered, Owen. Thank you. A marshmallow from a fire on the beach. You want to just cook one, maybe? How's that taste, buddy? Good. Tastes like charcoal? Yeah, me too. You want me to open you a coconut, do you? Yeah. I haven't drunk any of it, it's for you. Whoa. <gasps> What are we doing, guys? We were like oh, kind of solving a puzzle. Yeah, it's hard because it's all like that type, you know? It feels a bit blurred. Oh, and so I served.
Kiwi so sir. So we got a bit carried away down at the beach. We met another traveling family and as you do, you get chatting. So we sat by the fire and watched the sunset. So we've come into the camp kitchen and made a very simple dinner tonight. Mm. Have you tried some, dear? Oh, yummy. Have you tried some, Kaylee? Delicious. I'm yet to try it. But tomorrow we wake up and explore the Dane tree proper. So, as you can see from our very poorly attached flies, it rained last night. <laughs> I guess that's why they call it a rainforest. So, <laughs> for the rest of our stays in here, we'll probably be putting the flies on before we go to bed. But it's gonna be time to pack up now. So we pack up camp and uh, we're moving on to Noah's beach today. And we're going to explore the dane tree and see what we can see. Ah, just cooking lunch with a view. Very nice view. Where are we? Alexander Point? Alexander Lookout? Yeah. Lunch is ready, folks. Yum. I'm learning from Bunnings to put the onion on the bottom. <laughs> We're having BBQ. That's BBQ. That means barbecue. What are we doing here? <laughs> we are going to the Daintree Ice Cream Company to have a little treat after lunch. After we've had lunch. Mel saw an ice cream sign and she can't help herself. <laughs> here you go. Just kidding. Here you go. Just kidding. <laughs> Do you think that's Ooh, good? Oh, that chocolate's already melting. How's it melting? Oh, that's great. Chocolate sauce? Chocolate. It's just like lots of sauce. So after the ice cream, we get to go for a walk around the orchard. Pineapple. This fruit is in the fresh cooked juice or preserved. Baby's pineapple is grown from the crown of the parent plant. These bees are distinguished and important pollinator for our fruit trees. This is the first time I've seen a dragon fruit tree. I had no idea that that's what it looked like. What have we found? This is the jackfruit. Largest tree born fruit in the world. Can grow up to 46 kilograms. Has a unique banana bubblegum flavor. Can be cooked in a variety of different ways. Okay, so we had booked in at a place called Noah's Beach for our second night on our little trip away from Cooktown. But we got there and had a look around and as with uh, booking national parks, you don't really get to see where you're booking. You just got to pick something. And the site that we had booked was right next to the uh, toilet block and it just stank of septic. So we decided to come back here to Cape Tribulation Camping because the campground is just so awesome. So here we are, we're going to set up here again. It's a little sad to have to set up and pack down and set up again in the same place, but yeah, happy to be here again. All right, so camp's all set up. This is what we're working with tonight. Mel's running the gauntlet yet again and she's not going to put the fly up. Now, she promised before we went away that one of the nights that we were away that the kids could sleep with her. So I've been kicked out of our tent. So we've got three pillows in there, be Mel and the two kids. Yay. You excited for that, Mum? <laughs> it's going to be pretty. And then for something different, I haven't used this yet. I've set up my hammock. So I'm not running the gauntlet because it would take too long to set this tarp up if it did happen to start running. So I set the tarp up. So if it does rain, I'll be okay. And in here is my little hammock. I got a fly screen, I got a little mat in there. So yeah, that will be me tonight. Daddy, what are you going to do? We're going to make some pitfall traps for Kaylee's school experiment. 
Let's try that, Kev. Let's put it in with the handle up so that we can get it out when we're done. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I've done it. A little bit sacrilegious wasting the lure pack for this, but come and get some lure pack on your finger, Kaylee. Get a good, get a good amount. You need, you need a good amount. You need to wipe it all around the top. Of that. That'll do. And that, bring that over to the bucket. No, don't eat it. Wipe it around all the top half of the bucket, around all the edge. What do you think that's going to do? Oh, that's going to stop the insect from getting from being able to climb out, hey? Yeah. Smear it all the way around the outside. All the way around. That's it. You make the surface of the bucket all slippery. So hopefully the insects won't be able to climb out after they've fallen in. For Kaylee's schooling this week, she's learning about insects. And they've asked her to do an experiment creating some pitfall traps. So what better place to do it than here in the Daintree Rainforest. So we've created two types of pitfall traps while we're here. And I'll hand it over to Kaylee to tell you about them. So we've made a pitfall trap. First, we dug a hole and put some buckets in. Then, we got some sticks and put them on the outside. We put, and we also smeared some butter around, so that if insects fall in, they won't be able to climb out. So what's going to happen? Are the insects going to climb along and try and hide under the cardboard? Yeah, so they'll, like, at night, they'll just try and, like, walk along and then they'll think that they could find shelter underneath then they'll hopefully fall into the pitfall trap so kaylee do you want to show us how this one works yeah so say i'm a little um say i'm a little stick and la 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 oh look there's a wall i might crawl along it till, till i get to the other side do, 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 do. Ah! And then he's going to fall in the bucket and we're going to be able to come in here tomorrow and find them. Yeah! We're going to go for a walk down to the beach and find somewhere comfy to sit and watch the sunset. Oh, oh gosh! It's not as easy, not as, easy as it looks. Is it comfy? No. <laughs> but am I here now? Yes. Cheers, biggies. Cheers. Uh, good morning from my hammock in the rainforest. I can hear the kids are awake and they're already talking about the pitfall trap. So let's go and get them out of the tent and we'll go and check the pitfall traps. Oh, I slept pretty good in there. I woke up a couple of times stuck to my mat, but other than that it was pretty good. Good morning. Do you guys want to go and look in the traps? Yeah! How did you sleep, dear? Yeah, good. But I was still so hot. Me too. <laughs> it's so hard to go to bed when it's so hot. Yup, it is.
Yes, Sam. We didn't. Oh, there's some ants. We caught some ants. We caught some ants. Oh, that's not very exciting. No, hopefully there's some Let's go have a look in the other one. Okay, are we ready? I'm gonna take it off. Ants! Lots of ants in this one. <laughs> That's a lot. Look at them all. Yeah, big worker ant there. Mm. Big muscular ant. You see they have different types of ants. I think they're all the yeah. same species. So for our last night here in the Daintree Rainforest, Mel's splurged out and she's put us into a little rainforest retreat. We are at a place called the Crocodilus and we're on our way now to try and figure out where we're staying. It's going to be a little forest, bung forest bungalow. It's very rustic, but uh, it's right up our alley. Let's get there and check it out. So what are we working with here? We got some bunks with fly mesh over them, fly screen mesh, and toilet and shower. Well, beats setting up a tent, packing down a tent, doesn't it, dear? I would have been kicking myself if I came up here into the Daintree and didn't go for a uh, bit of a spotlight in the wall. So we booked ourselves on a tour here at the Crocodilus. We're going to go and do a bit of a, um, a nighttime walk and see what we can see. Then all of a sudden one will start waving his hand because it's better to be actually, uh, it's better to be raped than killed. That's basically the reason. <laughs> <laughs> and is that what happened? <laughs> yeah. Oh. jungle just out there How about you mama bear how'd you sleep? Mama bear uh, There was lots of noises coming from the rainforest Mm -hmm. And um, the neck kept tickling my feet. <laughs> Did you think it was some sort of bug getting you? Um, no, they were just not little noises, loud noises, and even um, it was things hitting the cat, hitting the. Tent. There was some loud animal walking around out there. I heard that last yeah. night. Yeah. All right. Goodbye, little rainforest hut. Well, no trip through the Bloomfield is complete without stopping in at the Lion's Den Hotel. At least that's what I managed to convince the wife. I just wanted to get out of cooking lunch. But that's it. That's the end of this adventure. And that's pretty much the end of our travels in the Cape. I hope you enjoyed the series and we'll see you in the next adventure. Yep. Always peeping at me. Well, this is us, our little site here at Camp Tribulation. Cape Tribulation. Damn it. Oh. <laughs>
Uh, uh, that's awesome. 